Aloha YouTube, how's it going? In today's video, I wanted to review and demo the F1, the Falk Neven F1. I really enjoy this blade. I'll tell you right away. I like the convex edge, very tough steel, holds an edge for a very long time. And it's fairly comfortable in the hand. And I got the leather sheath, which is, uh, I think, the best option, in my opinion. The, the tang goes all the way through. And you can hammer that. I've hammered it. Pretty good. I batoned it. I've beaten up this knife really good. And the handle holds up. You can see there's some gunk in it. It does hold some dirt and stuff, which is not so good but it's got a really good grip and it's comfortable no hot spots and again I have medium sized gloves so I really like the handle it works um, but time will tell we'll see how long it holds up Let's talk about the sheath. I like the sheath. It's even starting to rain so you can see how waterproof it is. It's a nice belt loop. Very secure, tough stitching all the way down here. I like this design. And this little flap folds over. So it's very secure. It's not going anywhere. This button's pretty tough. I think this will last a long time. Pretty solid sheath. I would definitely recommend the leather sheath for the F1. I like this. Works. Rides comfortably on the belt and does its job. And I've beaten it up a little bit, but hey, that's what it's here for. Keep the knife protected. <laughs> so, the knife. A little under four inch blade. A little over eight inch overall. A nice lanyard hole right here. And it's a tough knife. And I will show you how tough it is. A beating on it. Let's see if it holds an edge. And it's fairly sharp right now. Gives you an idea. Do some stabbing tests. Can't really. Tip holds up good. Not really a chopper. It's so light. 
The knife only weighs about five ounces, so I don't expect it to chop. I might be able to do like little limbs. So let's see. Yeah. Sharp. There we go. Yeah, it's still sharp. Okay, so let's try something a little bit more brutal. Now I'm not gonna go all the way through this, but I'm gonna try to show you. you pound in the knife through the handle. I really like that. It doesn't hurt the handle. I really like that. Let's do a cross grain. It's in there pretty good. That's, I, that's a pretty neat little feature right there. I like that. Get some stabbing going. Very secure in the hand. Really like the grip, even though it's wet. It's actually kind of raining right now, so it's still pretty solid grip. I wouldn't necessarily call this a tactical knife. Survival knife, maybe. I think a survival knife should be like around five inches, but I think this would be a good EDC uh, knife that you could be a work knife or. Uh, uh, survival knife if you had it on you and you were in a survival situation you would definitely um, thank your britches that you had this <laughs> so F1 pretty solid knife really solid it's kind of hot in the jungle tonight I don't really need the fire it's more for mosquito abatement um, Field testing this Falcon Neven F1 pilot survival knife. And I'm tending to a fire, as you can see. I'm drinking some tea. Oh, yeah. Mmm, some mango tea. I would definitely recommend this knife to a friend. And I hope you like and subscribe and comment. And I'm here for any questions. I've definitely um, used this knife and in the jungle. Knives have to hold up. Right away you can tell if it's not going to hold up. Um, and most people in the jungle use their knives all the time. So anyway, I wanted to close with a campfire. Should be excellent cooking coals right here. I hope you like subscribe comment have an awesome time out in the wilderness be safe with your knives aloha